If you're just getting started, the most important thing, a lesson I learned in the past four years of running my own business is you absolutely want to separate your personal expenses than your business expenses. Hey guys, this is Faye from Faye's World Media. In this video, I wanna show you a new app called Found. Found is an all-in-one solution for banking, bookkeeping, and taxes for self-employed. You may be wondering, Faye, it's been a while since you talked about personal finance. Well, I've always been passionate about this. In fact, I've been podcasting and written blog posts about personal finance when it comes to taxes, incorporations, such as how to set up your LLCs, um, as well as the best and the cheapest health insurance. And last year in 2020, I recorded a bunch of videos on PUA, PPP that became really popular. This is why I am so happy that found reach out to me. So together we can collaborate on this video and show you guys exactly how to make your personal finance easy, especially if you're self-employed. I know personal finance works very differently for different people. Every family, every creator has a different setup. So I'm here to share my personal experience, what makes found a good app for someone in my position. But I'm also gonna be transparent about the things that found app doesn't quite do yet. In addition to the fact that I'm passionate about this topic, really happy to be introducing found, I will also say that the user interface is really simple, very clean, just the opposite of most banking apps you probably have experienced. Another reason why found could be a really good solution for self-employed is that it comes with a card that looks like this. You have your own banking account just for business. If you're just getting started, the most important thing, a lesson I learned in the past four years of running my own business, is you absolutely want to separate your personal expenses than your business expenses. In fact, all business-related transactions should be tracked separately. And that's exactly what Found does. But in addition, Found has a really unique way of educating you when it comes to business expenses, finances, and taxes. So instead of reminding you or giving you a PDF to read best practices, as you're tracking your expenses for your business with this card, whether it's a meal or something you purchased from Amazon, Found will know that the receipts you need to keep, for example, for meals, that will be over $75, and it's gonna kind of drip that knowledge, that information to you little by little. So you won't feel bombarded of having to study or have to know everything all at once. Now, to me personally, the most important feature is the tax withholding. Now, that is super tricky. So far, I don't know any banks, including Bank of America, Chase, I don't think any of the banks uh, has a personal touch when it comes to withholding your taxes and teaching you what to do. Specifically, Found will set aside the money you've made into a tax savings account within Found. And when it comes to quarterly estimated taxes here in the US, you will know how much you owe, depending on which state you reside in, where you do business in, and you will know that you have enough money or how much money you're lacking in order to pay for your quarterly taxes. And even better, you can actually submit your quarterly tax payment directly from Found. I'm going to turn on the Found app and show you some of the sample data, how I use it, you know, what the user interface is like. And please leave your comments below what you like, what you think it's still missing, because I wanna be in touch with Found and recommend features that you really want to their engineering team. So welcome to the Found app. When you first create this, and first, under balance, you will see the balance you have as part of your found, not just the card, but your account overall. And you have the ability to add money to it. I wanna show you the options that are currently available. You can link your bank account, but you can also connect your payment apps, such as Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. Personally, I use two out of the three, so that's really convenient for me. In addition, you can use direct deposit and also check deposit. Because found is a bank, so you have your own routing number as well as account number. You can also enable deposits to a business name. In order to do this, you do need to snap a photo of your business license to use your business name. Lastly, you can receive money to enable check deposits. Let's see, you're eligible to deposit checks when you receive at least $400 in deposits into your account and your 30 days have passed since the first deposit into your account cleared. Okay, so. 
So when it comes to transfer options, you can link your bank account or you can set aside some money for your taxes account. Also the bottom of the screen, this is sort of a dashboard look and feel. You can view all activities. So right now, the only transaction I've actually made is funding for $200 so I can see the deposit that's been made to my account. I can also click on the plus sign. And then from here, I can manually add expenses or add income. So I'm gonna add expenses. As you can see, I have the option for business meals, transportation, office supplies, software and subscription. And I don't see mine, then from here, I can add additional uh, categories, as you can see here, paying a person for a service that could be a freelancer uh, or an employee, paying business for a service, buying goods or items, travel or transportation, meals, and other business expenses. Uh, when it comes to other, here are the categories, entertainment, interest, commissions, you get the idea. And gifts is another category. Um, I, I know for me, even though I don't buy a lot of expensive gifts, but I tend to uh, buy gifts for my clients at the end of the year or for holidays. Now, the reason why these categories exist is because they directly align with um, the business expenses that you're gonna be asked for during tax season. So I really like the categorization of this. And also to keep in mind, uh, not everything is 100% deductible. Uh, sure, you buy a computer, for example, for your business, that is maybe 100% deductible. But when it comes to meals these days, it is only 50% deductible. And the law and the policies change all the time. Instead of for you to keep track of all of that, Found will keep track of that for you. If I exit out of expenses right now, I also have the option to add income. So let me see that. I'm gonna say I just got paid $1,000 and paid by XYZ Corporation on the date of January 24th. And next, uh, set aside right here, as you can see. Found is already recommending that I set aside $253.61 for taxes. And I have the option to say, I don't wanna set aside taxes. And right now, if I want to set aside taxes, uh, Found realized that I don't have enough money to do that. So for that reason, I'm gonna actually enter a lower amount. Let me enter an income of $500, paid by XYZ. Next, it says, hey, you can set aside $126.80 for taxes. I have sufficient fund from within found of $200. I can choose that. And it says income saved. We updated your tax bill and set aside the right amount. Got it. So that is super cool. It's something I've never really thought about before. Now to keep in mind, you don't have to keep the money in your taxes account. So if I tap over to taxes, from here it says current tax bill is $126.80. And I tap on that and it already shows me what my income is and why the money is set aside. Within balance, back to the first tab, I can click on transfer and I can transfer to taxes, but I also can reverse that to transfer from taxes to balance, just like that. And I can say right now, I don't want to uh, save taxes and I can transfer that right back to balance. That's it my balance is now back to $200. Now I wanna show you guys, since we are now at the beginning of 2021, so most of you don't have a lot of um, income or expenses tracked as of January. However, I'm going to show you what it looks like. These are all sample data to protect my personal financial uh, data. I'm gonna show you what my 2020 looks like. What I will do is go to taxes. I'm gonna hit the big black button that says 12680 current tax bill. Click on that and there's a little kind of a um, bronze banner that says you are viewing your 2021 tax bill. So I will click on that and I have the option to view the 2020 tax packet. So I'll click on that and right here I wanna show you the data you will see for previous years and also for the upcoming tax year. First is tax summary. Right here you're able to clearly see your profit, which means your income, your expenses, and profit. You'll also be able to see your federal deductions as well as adjustments and credits. You'll see your current state. For me, it's gonna be Massachusetts and how much taxes you currently owe. Uh, taxes are broken down into state versus federal and um, you can also see the tax payment you have already made at this point as well as other filing status. I'll show you in a second how to change your filing status. So go to the back Click the back button. Next, let's take a look at Schedule C. So once you fill in all your information, 
Schedule C will be automatically updated throughout the year. Last is expense audit report. Currently, I have not entered expenses for 2020. Uh, I can go ahead and, and do that. So let me just add one expense right here, purchase from, I'm gonna say Panera, and the date is gonna be 2020, September 24th, why not? So right here it says, you just saved $4.01 on taxes because this is a business expense. That means I've taken a client out to eat at Panera. So right here, you can say, got it. And you also see, this is where the education comes in. It says needs purpose. I'm gonna click on that. And it says, who did you meet? Business meals over $75 need an itemized receipt and purpose. So the moment you enter that, you already know you're missing something and you will know that you wanna hold on to that receipt. So here you can say it was a client. So I did that and has a purpose. It's about relationship building. I don't know about you guys, but for me, that's gonna be most of the situations. But I like the second category, which is God advice. When you meet with other people for business purposes, especially for you as a new entrepreneur, as a self-employed person, for example, you and I could be sitting at a cafe talking about how to set up your LLC. And if you pay for my meal that day, well, you can say God advice. So for now, I'm gonna choose relationship building. And next, I'm gonna add my receipt. I will simply take a photo using the built-in camera of my phone or I can choose from library, or I just say I own a copy. To be honest, I always say, if you have to keep a receipt, you want a, a photocopy. So I'm gonna say, uh, let's take a photo right here, and I'm gonna just take a picture, use photo. That's it, tax ready, you are all set. And I'm done with this entry. Okay, now let's say you are getting ready for 2021. You're convinced you wanna give this a shot, download the app, and now as part of 2021 tax bill, I'm gonna scroll down and show you some of the other features that you might be interested in exploring, including mileage. Uh, I've been pretty bad at keeping track of business mileage. So right here, you can click on the edit button and you have the options to be using vehicle expenses, which is the sum of all expenses, or you can use the mileage rate, which is standard. Uh, that is 58 cents per mile. And you can also choose the percentage of how much you use your vehicle for a business. For me, uh, honestly, we have multiple cars in the family, so for my own car, mostly it's business. You can choose any percentage or estimate what that may be. So let me close this out and show you just a few more things. Adjustments right here. A lot of people don't even know what it means. And it tells you, for example, student loans, interest, and IRA contributions, but don't add self-employed taxes. We'll do that for you. Next is deductions. Click on the little edit button. Uh, you can choose a standard deduction or you want to itemize. I'm not saying that this app should replace your accountant because you shouldn't. And I learn a lot from my accountant and I will know depending on my spending behavior, my, my business, often I choose standard deduction, but there may be situations that you want to itemize things. With this um, set aside and put away, you have credits. And so here you can change your tax filing status. Last but not least, it recognized that I reside in Massachusetts and uh, what my expected business income is gonna be and what the other incomes might be. So if I click on other income uh, right here, how much income from other sources do you estimate? And you're like, what does that even mean? So you click on this link and it will tell you other sources include wages from another job, part-time job, or um, a spouse's income or any other income that you won't track in found. So I personally think right now, Found is a great tool for people who are getting started and to kind of improve your personal finance hygiene, especially when you're starting your business, to have this one card to keep track of everything and to be educated little by little, drip by drip, what you need to know and what you need to do. I would say Found perhaps isn't a great choice for people who are going after uh, points and benefits and wanna use a whole bunch of cards for their business expenses and purposes. I know you guys are out there and you can take advantage of points and benefits, whether it's airline or otherwise. I mean, I personally also uh, have a card I absolutely adore, um, but 
I also like the idea of spending more consciously and、um, be really intentional about what I spend on my business. Being intentional about educating myself on where I can be saving the money. So for that trade-off, I'm really excited to not only check out but use Found as part of my business. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hey, 2021! I'm excited. There's so many more videos I want to create, especially when it comes to personal finance and how to build a platform for you as a content creator. So you don't have to rely on a large team, a company to manage and handle all of that for you, because that is not really an option for most of us independent creators. So I want to show you all these tips and tricks of how to optimize、um, your taxes and, and really learn these things along the way. Have fun with it. If you haven't subscribed, please do right now because I cannot wait to see you in a future video. You guys mean so much to me because I personally believe that my audience is everything. I want to create the most useful, helpful content to you. If、uh, you have any ideas, guys, please leave in comments below. Whether it's related to personal finance or otherwise, thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.